You can set uh, oh, you can set delay cool. timings on these matrixes, right? I'm glad you asked. Yes. So if you have delay speakers, you're going to need to delay those speakers, aren't you? Okay. So what you're going to do is now, depending on how fancy you are, John, mm -hmm. you can either have a laser tape measure, ah. or you can do what I use is my feet. Right. These feet are made for walking, yo. One foot in front of the um, other. It's not rocket science. Yes. So if you use your feet and you get approximations, you're mm -hmm. probably going to be fine. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to routing. routing. We love routing. You're going to go to routing and you're going to go to that output. That is that delay. But here's the crazy stuff, mm. John. Mm. What's the crazy stuff, Gabe? Would I ever delay my mains? Good question. Depends on how far away your mains are, I guess. Or where they are, right? Yeah. Basically, you delay everything that comes after something, if that makes sense. Gabe, what do you mean? All right, so whatever speakers are coming out first, like come, are all pointing out, yeah. whichever one is the starting point, everything else is delayed to that. Okay. So for instance, if I got my mains, mm -hmm. on my, if we got my left and right mains, mm -hmm. right, and my subs, are like 10 feet in front of those mains, right. I have to delay those subs. Yes. If we have it reversed where my subs are first and then we had to move our mains for then some you'd reason, have to delay the, the that mains. always happens way up somewhere where you don't want them, right. you have to delay those mains to those subs. Right, okay, yeah. So then you would go to like one and two mm -hmm. and you would go over here on the right mm -hmm. and you'll see delay, right? Mm -hmm. And now what's good about this board, some boards are only in milliseconds, which is very difficult because then you got to pop up your cell phone mm -hmm. and do some, Calculate. Uh, some science, yep. yo. Here, gladly enough, you have your milliseconds, your meters, and your feet. Mm -hmm. We use feet. So I calculated most of our speakers that we use in this company, mm -hmm. not any speaker all over the world, are generally 50 feet. They start to degrade, right? right? So we're gonna say 50 feet. So we're gonna go to the delay over here mm -hmm. and we're gonna bring up our knob to basically as high as we can go that we need, which would be, let's say 53 feet, right? right? Okay. All right. Now, it's delayed, right? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not? No, we gotta click it. You have click, to engage it. And now it's engaged. Right. Now it's delayed. Now, so one and two is linked, right? So now that I've delayed one, two, is that delayed with it? Well, if they're linked, Yes. You would think so, uh, but they're not. So you gotta select, you gotta go to that one also. The select doesn't even work with that. You gotta go to output two, and you gotta go up to 53. And you wanna know why? Why is that? Because sometimes your left and your right are not even. Oh. Sometimes you gotta put the left speaker, the delay 50 feet from that one, mm -hmm. and then 50 feet from that one, there just happens to be a column or a water tower or something. You gotta put it in front or behind. And you gotta put it in front or behind, yep. and you gotta do a different delay. Right. So, your main goal for a delay is you don't wanna hear three different mains of speakers. You don't wanna be in the audience, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can hear music coming from there, and I can hear it coming from there, mm -hmm. you know? like. What you're doing is you want to get it to a point where you can just walk around and not see where you hear the music, right. if that makes any yep. sense. Mm -hmm. You want to like take a walk around your environment from speaker zone to speaker zone and make sure it sounds very fluid. Seamless. So when you're, when you're seamless, yeah, you seamless. just want to walk through. And sometimes I put on a song that's got a lot of hi-hat, right. something with some kind of timing. And then when you're standing in between zones, you can actually hear if there's a difference in the delay too, where right. it sounds off. So you want yep. it to all basically come together. So when that guy or that lady gives that speech, it's all coming out at once and it doesn't sound like a baseball stadium, baseball stadium, baseball stadium. Right. So John, I hope there's a, those are a couple like little you know little uh, pieces of advice or hacks or whatever you want to call that can help you do a couple more things that we do here at Corporate AV. Yeah, that was really helpful, Gabe. I appreciate it. Yeah. No problem, man. Well, as you know, I'm Gabe. And I'm John. And uh, make sure when you're done, dude, make sure you always zero your board and factory reset it. Why do I gotta do that? Well, first of all, why doesn't even matter. You gotta do it. All you gotta do is hit